speaker is the originator of the AIDS Walk, motivating more people to take more action in confronting a public health emergency than any other movement in history. The events that he and his fellow activists have organized here in the Bay Area and throughout the country have now raised more than $400 million. Please welcome one of my heroes, the founder and senior organizer of AIDS Walk San Francisco, Craig Miller. Thank you, Serafina Palandek. Thank you for your great leadership of this board. Thank you to all of the members of the board of directors for, uh, for all the leadership you provide in, in helping keep this event uh, so vibrant and successful. Uh, in just a moment, we're going to close the opening ceremony with a very special performance by a Grammy award-winning artist that you will not want to miss. And before we, I have the pleasure of introducing her, I just want to ask, will you please join me in thanking the more than 500 AIDS Walk San Francisco volunteers that got here very early this morning to help make today's event so successful. I also want to acknowledge the small but mighty AIDS Walk San Francisco staff that worked uh, tirelessly for months on this, and most especially our uh, Director of Campaign Operations, Kate Ros Rosenblum, and our very talented event director, Ben Fordham. Thank you to the staff. Wonderful job this year. I want to, uh, I also want to thank uh, Project Inform, Health Access California, and Let's Kick AIDS Survival Syndrome for being here in coalition and promoting our important message about uh, making sure we continue to bar discrimination in health insurance against those with pre-existing conditions. Um, health Access California is a, is a uh, new member of the AIDS Walk San Francisco family and coalition. Uh, our goals are very much the same and I want to introduce the uh, organizer uh, from uh, Health Access California for uh, Northern California, Yasmin Pelid. Thank you, Yasmin. Please uh, join me in thanking our sign, sign language interpreter, Patty Lazard, helping make sure our message can reach everyone here today. Oh, and I also want to give a shout out to, um, to Senator John McCain, a Republican of Arizona, um, a true patriot, a uh, former prisoner of war. Um, uh, a great American, whether we disagree with, whether we agree with his politics or not, and we want to um, wish him a speedy recovery from a very significant um, uh, blood clot uh, that has sidelined him. So, uh, best of health to Senator John McCain. I also want to ask Senator John McCain and, the, and his colleagues to reflect upon the health care that he is receiving, to reflect upon how important that is to him today, how important that is to his other Senate Republican colleagues who care about him, and in addition to wishing Senator McCain a speedy recovery, we also wish him great reflection, and we, and we invite him to be among the sensible, compassionate American leaders that say no way to huge cutbacks in Medicaid, no way to a return of discrimination against those with pre-existing conditions. No way. It is quite a dichotomy to be here today with all of you, thousands of people, who are working so hard to make the San Francisco Bay Area's response to HIV even stronger and to serve it as an, as an example of what cities and communities can do to protect public health and to advocate for sound public policies on public health. And as we gather here today to do things like make sure the wonderful meals and nutrition program of Project Open Hand remains strong to make sure that the benefits counseling, which is going to be even more needed now with the complexity of maybe who can qualify and who can't, um, the work of Positive Resource Center is uh, so key in that. And we're here today to help build Ward 86 and Golden Compass into the best HIV care unit in the world 
And as we're doing this, elected leaders in Washington are laboring to, to, to make fewer people be able to access Ward 86 so that fewer people can access the kind of health care that they need, that Senator McCain gets when he needs it, and that all of us deserve when we need it. And we're here to say that is not right. We're standing tall. We remain committed to affordable health care for all in this country. It is, it is within our power, and it's something we've got to do. So today, before you head out on this walk, perhaps as you're listening to our wonderful final closing song, please go on over. We encourage you to please walk on over and visit Project Inform, um, uh, Let's Kick AIDS Survival Syndrome, and uh, California uh, Health Access. Please come on over and visit them. Uh, make your sign, declare your pre-existing condition, hold it proudly, and let's make sure that today, as we walk these 10 kilometers, we are not only taking an important stand for all those living with HIV and AIDS, we're taking an important stand for those with heart disease, with diabetes, with cancer. We care about the health of everyone, and we're determined to bring everyone along to, to a future of good health care. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this important event on the heels of the Senate vote coming up in the next couple of weeks. And as promised, to send you on your way, it's my great privilege to introduce to you Grammy Award-winning performer Estelle. Let's hear it.